was a great event here in New York. We had about 290 participants to hear presentations and to interact in fora uh, with uh, Philippine uh, government officials, Philippine business leaders, uh, um, uh, people uh, who know the Philippine economy very well, uh, and uh, Americans who came uh, from the business sector uh, interested in the atmosphere in the Philippines and today's realities and interested as well in what's going to be the situation as a result of the elections in the Philippines this year. Now, so it was a these, lively session. Who are these participants from American big biz businesses and were there specific interests mentioned on industries that they want to invest in? Well, the, the way the conference was, the forum was uh, constructed, the idea was to give potential investors uh, the lay of the land in terms of the overall economy, the financial situation, the monetary situation, the infrastructure situation, and opportunities sector by sector for investment uh, in accordance to their interests. And there was a lot of interest in, uh, there was interest in infrastructure, all aspects of infrastructure. The point was made that the Philippines needs infrastructure investment. There was interest in tourism. There was interest in commerce, in manufacturing, in services. All the areas in which the Philippines is doing pretty well, according to the statistics. Uh, but the question was, is that going to continue as a result of the uh, presidential elections? So what was the general outlook for the Philippines? So we had their government officials, but we also had international economists and analysts giving their point of view. Yes, indeed. And the overall point of view is that the Philippines, with its growth levels of above 6% over the past six years, the, uh, the record of progress in strengthening its institutions, the fight against corruption, uh, the, um, the fact that uh, the Philippines uh, now enjoys investment grade rating by the Standard and & Poor and the other investment agencies, uh, th these are positive indications for the country in a world in which there is competition for the attraction of foreign investment. But looking so at it... The, the, it was a good story for the Philippines to tell and then to answer questions about uh, vulnerabilities. But looking at it historically, investments from the U.S. were mostly funneled into other ASEAN countries rather than the Philippines. What are the challenges there? Well, the challenges are what were reviewed today. And they included the policies to attract investment that the government of the Philippines is going to offer. That's very important. The tax system, the guarantees as far as institutional credibility, transparency, uh, the uh, fact that the Philippines is offering uh, institutional realities and that means that investors, potential investors, want to know if the rules of the game are going to be changed because of the political situation. Especially with the then coming course, elections. Thank you very much. the question of the... That's right. Thank you very much, Ambassador, for joining us there is us today. also the question of the workforce. Thank you, Ambassador, yeah. for being with us.